Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Playdates and Travels and if you are new to my channel I hope that you consider sticking around and hitting that subscribe button and that like button that lets me know that you like this content and your subscriptions also show me that you guys are ready to see my content continuously instead of sporadically. Um, at any rate, this is actually my very last official swap for the holiday season this year because um, I didn't do too many swaps, but I feel like I actually did a lot of swaps this year in comparison to last year. Swaps are very time um, consuming and then um, just participating in them is so much fun. But then you also have to get the videos done and edited and up on time and that's a lot of work. So I'm actually happy with the five or so that I did this year and this is the very last one. This one's actually kind of special to me because this was just arranged by me and Melody Phoenix. Melody herself and I um, decided to do this one-on-one -on -one swap. Um, so it's a little bit different than the other ones where it's just a group and you have a secret Santa type of thing and you don't know who you're gonna get. In this one, Melody and I knew that we were both sending to each other and I was very excited for that because one-on-one -on -one swaps can be really fun. And it's been a, a little bit of a while since I did that on my channel. I'm super excited for this. I'm wearing my Harry Potter gear. Um, I have a little uh, Harry's wand necklace on my new Costco PJ set and a little bit of Butterbeer ears because I wanted to go ahead and celebrate the festivities today. It's a little bit different than normal. We do a lot of Disney on this channel, but I like to do Harry Potter every now and then as well. And today is a Harry Potter themed video and I'm super excited for that. I do have Hedwig right behind me <laughs> on my Christmas tree. And I just wanted to change up the background too. I didn't want it to be all Disney, so I, doing it for my Christmas tree. But today is the Happy Christmas Swap and Happy Christmas is what they say in England um, instead of Merry Christmas. So I'm super excited for this swap. It's just a Christmas exchange between Melody and I that is Harry Potter themed. We had a budget, um, I don't remember, I think it was like above 100, 120, something like that um, it was what the max that we we're supposed to spend. I have trouble following those rules, but that was pretty much it. There weren't really criteria in terms of things that you had to put in here, just a box that you thought the other person would love and it was fit to their preferences. So I know that Melody is a Ravenclaw and I got her a lot of Ravenclaw themed items as well as general Harry Potter items that I thought that she might be a big fan of. Um, we talked about maybe, would, would you like a plush? Would you like jewelry? Would you like a lounge fly bag? Things like that. So um, we did ask each other questions one on one. It was a little bit more informal because it was just the two of us. And we've known about this for the past six months at least. So I was super looking forward to this. I definitely went crazy on my swap box for her. So after watching my video, please go ahead and tune into Melody's video as well, just to see all the fun stuff that I sent her for this happy Christmas swap. There's only two videos today, so it shouldn't take up too much of your time, hopefully, if that's okay with you guys. But without further ado, I'm gonna get into my boxes. Melody actually sent me um, three different boxes. Uh, one she sent directly herself, and then two other ones I think she sent through small shops because she thought it was easier to send to me. One she sent to me like way, way early, so I've had it sitting in my house for like five months, and I was just like finally excited to go into this. So I'm about to open this about two days before our box videos are supposed to go up. So without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. If you like Harry Potter content, this might be the video for you, and let's see what Felony sent me. So I'm gonna start with hers because it's the one that she curated herself, and it's actually the one that's decorated the most fun. Um, to let me know that these were for the swap, she actually did put like fine little um, hints in the packaging. Like for example, this came from this boutique in New York and it says, Christina Potter plays in <laughs> Play Dates and Travels. So the fact that it said Potter on it, made me know that this is for the Harry Potter swap. She did the exact same thing with the box that came directly from Amazon. And then, um, I think it's an Amazon box anyway. And then the one from her office saying it was for her, for her and it says Happy Christmas swap. But let me show you the items that she put on the box because I am such a sucker for fun Christmas decorations and she definitely made it themed to Harry Potter and I love that. And by the way, if you guys don't know Melody, please go subscribe to her. She is such a sweetheart. I really, really appreciate her. She's in Canada and so she's just, she's just a, a darling. She actually did the um, Hocus Pocus swap that I did last year. She was the one that sent me my amazing box and like she just, she killed it on that. So you guys have probably heard me talk about her before on this channel, but for sure she sent me things for that swap. So I'll put it above if you guys haven't seen it, but without further ado, let me show you the box. It says happy Christmas swap. It has a photo and it's very Christmas oriented and it's of the great hall, um, all the kids sitting, enjoying themselves at Christmas time. And I can also see Harry and Ron in the far corners. So this is definitely a Christmas time, super cute. Along the side, she also put some stickers. So that's another uh, snapshot right there on the side of that same photo, really nice and Christmassy. On this side, she found some 
Harry Potter themed Christmas stickers and you can see Hermione and her cat. Up Crookshanks, you have Harry right here. And then Ron with his wand and a princess present and of course a Santa hat. I absolutely love that. I love that Hermione has like reindeer um, antlers for some reason. I'm not really sure why they put antlers on her, but we're gonna go with it. Um, and then here, love how big Hagrid is and there's Hedwig. And it's a beautiful photo of the three of the trio. So I haven't looked at the item list. There is a list that tells you some of the stuff that's in here because it's a customs list, but I'm gonna ignore that and let's open the box. A little magic and an elbow grease later. I just managed to open the box. Oh, there's a fun sticker, Ron. And a little Christmas candy cane. Oh, I love that, it's adorable. And then she's got one of Sirius Black over here. That's also super cute. I think that's Sirius. Or it could be Hagrid. Maybe it's Hagrid. Um, <laughs> they're all Christmas stickers. Oh, and then she's got one of Harry with the snitch and Hedwig and a feather. Like from a quill pen. That's adorable. And then the last flap, I'm assuming, is probably more of the same. Okay, so it's, it's Harry again with Hedwig this time. And he's got a candy cane and also his scar symbol right there. So super adorable. I love it. There is a box, oh, beautiful paper staring back at me. And it says, happy Christmas, Christina. I hope you enjoy your treasures from the Wizarding World. I hope the owls don't experience any delays this holiday season. The wrapping paper comes from the Muggle Castle in London. I believe they call it Buckingham Palace. I truly enjoy your friendship, <laughs> love, Melody. That is awesome. She did tell me she found like fancy paper from London. That's so cool. I'm happy to have official London Buckingham Palace paper. And the owls did get to me on time. I think Errol was actually on his game for one. So that's awesome. Thank you so much. And then of course she has the same Christmas photo right there. So I'm loving all the Christmas touches that Melody included in this and I can't wait to get into this. Thank you again, Melody, for your friendship as well. And for the wonderful Christmas package. Look at all this fun paper. Definitely pretty and bedazzled and beautiful. And I'm just gonna get started with this one. Okay, so this item, oh, I love it already. I happen to really love the cupboard under the stairs type of items. And this appears to be a purse. That's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. Okay. I can already see it says Mr. H. Potter, the cupboard under the stairs for a drive, a little winging Surrey. And I love that. It's just like when he gets his letter in the mail for the very first time. And then on this side, you can see is the Hogwarts emblem. It looks just like the official Hogwarts stamp. And then you have the Hogwarts logo. And this looks like an envelope. So this is my magic mail, my uh, my owl mail, right? Um, directly from Harry Potter's um, school in itself. And then it has all the like, the icons for the different houses. Oh, I love this. This is really nice. And it's like a faux leather with this brown interior. And this is beautiful. Okay, the next thing I'm seeing is also a similarly um, sized package or it's like rectangular. So we're gonna go ahead with that. And this one, it's a feather quill pen set. So I did have an Elster account with my Harry Potter items that I created just specifically for this particular swap. And um, Melody had asked me what specifically I wanted when she saw that I had a quill set on there. So. I think she went out of her way to find me something that met that criteria because I've always kind of wanted to have my own like quill set to have the ink dip. I just thought that was such a fun element from the movie. So thank you, Melody. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. Okay, and this has, oh, beautiful. It's like the map all around as the box. This is gorgeous. What a nice box. Definitely have to reuse this and reuse this, recycle. I love reusing boxes. This is a gorgeous one. We'll have to use, oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh, wow. So this says best design and it has ink and it's got a quill feather pen that's red. It's really, really pretty. And then I guess this is like the stand to put the pen in. Oh my gosh, look how dainty and regal this is. This is like straight from Buckingham Palace too. This is so cool. I love all of it. This is such a nice set, Melody, you did amazing. Um, yes, look at that lovely set. There's the ink bottle, it's the holder, and then it's got this gorgeous design. And in the design it says, um, Acidel has been running on just domain and web hosting sites in Korea. 
Okay, so I don't think it has anything to do with this, talking about providing hosting services, but it's a really nice backer. That's hilarious. This is like a random text and nice font, but I love this. So, so cool. So really a nice um, detail quill set. I will definitely have to use this in the future and then show you guys what it looks like. Maybe on Instagram or something, but super nice box, loving this. And so far, both my items have like a theme with this like beige, the beige aesthetic, right? Okay, so the last box, um, package in that box is here. I'm gonna open this up right now. <gasps> it's a backpack. It's definitely a backpack. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh, it's Gryffindor! Daniel Nicole, wow, okay. Let's go ahead and open this up. So, I know that... Melody was definitely asking me different backpack styles that I might want. She's so funny. Oh, this is super nice. Look at that with the gold lion emblem. This is super pretty. Wow, it's super shiny. This is my second Daniel Nicole bag too. Like she makes really nice ones. It says Harry Potter, Daniel Nicole in the back. And then it just has like a red leather background. Super gorgeous and says Gryffindor across the side because that is my house. I did take a couple of tests recently and it confused me because I've always been a Gryffindor before, but all of a sudden I was testing as a Ravenclaw and I said, what is this? Maybe it's because I was buying such Ravenclaw items for this swap, but I got Ravenclaw and then I also got a little bit of um, uh, Slytherin, which I always knew that I had a little bit of Slytherin in me, but then I took another test and I said I was Gryffindor and I said, phew, okay, I'm just making sure that I got sorted into the right house, right? <laughs> but this is so cool. I love this. This is such a nice backpack. Thank you so much. And I'm definitely gonna have to wear this in the parks in the future. Um, it's been a little while since I've been to the Wizarding World out here in California, but I was able to go, oh, there's another package in here. But I was able to go in Florida recently and I had so much fun and Hagrid's motorbike ride was amazing on that trip too, so that was really fun. Oh my gosh, okay, so she actually put more presents in here. Sneaky, sneaky. So let me see what the actual bag looks like and I'll take the packages out. You fooled me, Melody. So the interior of this says, I thought it said something. I think it just is a design that looks really cool. It's like in a gray embossed font on the back. You guys can see that. And it goes all the way down and it says Harry Potter. This is a nice, this is one of the nicest uh, Gryffindor emblemed items I've seen. It's really, really nice. Thank you, Melody. Okay, so let me go to the other packages that she had hiding in here. I thought this was it for the box and I was gonna go open up the other ones. Let me start with the small box first. It's a small little like jewelry size box. I don't know. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. It's a mini book. Yay. Oh, the dark arts. Harry Potter, the dark arts. I love it. So these are one of those little miniature display books that you can put in your display. I do have a little small um, Harry Potter display in my room and um, my filming room. And I will have to add this because it does say the dark arts. And I love that. I love these little books. And it's an actual book. You can see a picture of Bellatrix just staring at me when I first opened it. And you've got, oh, you've got Harry himself right there. Snape, so it's an actual book, Sectum Septra. Sectum Septra was created by Severus Snape when he was a student at Hogwarts. He showed me an incantation for it, his copy of advanced potion making. Very true, the next page reads, graphic designer Mira Thora Mina hand wrote Snape's notes in advanced potion making in an untidy fashion. And then it's got like a little portrait of what that looks like. So this is super fun. I love this. I actually had to like look through this whole book one day to see what it says. This is actually pretty cool. Oh, the Death Eaters, a whole section on them. How scary is that? <laughs> so I love my dark arts book. I'm actually really into dark objects. I don't have too many of those. I did open up a recent um, dark arts related wizarding trunk box. I'll have to show you guys what I got in that, maybe in a different video. It was a lot of fun to get dark arts objects and this is a really cool one to add to that collection. Okay, I have two box, two packages that look like this, so I'll just go with one of them. And it's all wrapped in tissue paper, right? Oh, it's a pair of ears! There we go. We can't have a package for Melody without ears. I totally forgot about ears for a second. Oh, these are so pretty. Oh, I love them. And this is like a new design that she's been doing lately. Melody, these are gorgeous. It says, waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. She put it in purple, which is my favorite color. And it's got like this purple twine around the resin disc almost. It's got a beautiful little flat bow here. And this white silver headband that she wrapped with purple as well. So, so pretty. And it does say, it doesn't say in the back, but it's just like kind of, 
iridescent and clear on the outside on the back and then here i'll give you guys a close-up where it says waiting for my letter from hogwarts that is so so cool i love it thank you for my new ears and i love the touch of purple i'll take these off and try these on now oh yay thank you melody <laughs> I love my Harry Potter ears, super cute. And I love that they are see-through. So the other package I think are another pair of ears because it's similarly shaped. So let's see what's in here. Also tissue wrapped. <gasps> I'm seeing black. These are more dark. Oh my gosh, they are dark or dark arts ears. Persist, protect against the dark arts, counter curse. Free for a limited time only, big question. Ooh, this is kind of like the print, the newspaper print that you see in the Daily Prophet. It says undesirable number one, contact the Ministry of Magic immediately if you have any information regarding his whereabouts. I love that, reward 10,000 galleons. Okay, so this is that beautiful black bow. You can see this fun newspaper print type of font all over these ears that she created for me. I'm sure Melody created these as well. And then it has it continuing along the headband. Super fun, and on the inside, she kind of uh, lined this lacy detail. And then the back is all this black sequin in, sequined fabric, excuse me. So cool, and oh, and there's a nice fun trim that she chose to go across the edges as well. So I have this one, and then I also have my dark arts related ears right there. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna put the purple ones back on, but I'll, I'll wear them for the next package at least. So I have one more in this bag that she had hidden inside. This does not look like the same ear shape as the ears, so I think it's something different. Oh, I think it's a uh, Funko, maybe? I see a Funko box. And it says Harry Potter figure series one, Harry Potter, Hedwig, Dumbledore, and Snape. And on the front, I have Hedwig, yay! Oh, I love it. This will be a fun addition to my background as well. So this is a figure of Hedwig and next to him is a book and a cauldron. I absolutely love it. That's adorable. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and add this to my Harry Potter display that I have um, year round. So let's go ahead and open this up to get a closer look. This is so cute with the little book set. This is Harry Potter and a cauldron, then you've got him. So this is gonna be just so adorable to add to my display. As you guys can see my Hedwig behind me. I love Hedwig items. He's like my favorite favorite character or creature from Harry Potter. So I love this item, really adorable and cannot wait to go ahead and add this to my Harry Potter collection. Thank you, Melody. So let me start with a newer package first because the other one I've had much longer. I feel like that should go last. Okay, so this item, oh, it does have something in here. Oh, there's two things in here. Oh, okay, so now I know it's a tumbler because I just saw a straw. <laughs> I should have just opened the box because that kind of given away. So there's a tumbler in here and she also included a little of the creator, created a little snitch holiday sticker. So adorable. Thank you very much for that. Okay. And it looks like it's from WYL Boutique and I have like a little, um, Sheet. This is the item is, so I'm not, I'm not gonna look at the picture because I want to actually look at the item first myself to not give myself any spoilers. Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, so first and foremost, this is super colorful and it's got icons all over that are Harry Potter related in like this watercolor effect. This is really pretty. So there's the sign that says always. There's a little bedazzled version of of. Uh, of Hagrid, you've got Fox the Phoenix, you've got Dobby, you've got Hedwig nine and three quarters, you've got the Hogwarts castle, um, you've got the Golden Snitch, you've got the Ravenclaw Hufflepuff logos. Oh my gosh, these are so cool. Um, on that side is Gryffindor and Slytherin, and it says the Sorting Hats on top, and there's a little text that says, happiness can be found even the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light a quote from Albus Dumbledore. I actually love that quote. And you can see a little like a lightning symbol right there, Harry Potter scar. Uh, and then let's see what else. Oh, we've got a little, that's with the symbol. That's actually, you know, pretty effective with the always quote. And you've got the Hogwarts logo right there. So colorful and beautiful. 
So I love this like artsy watercolor effect. You've got the glasses with the lightning bolt. You've got the trio of friends, the best of friends right there with Hermione and Ron next to Harry in their coats, the robes, I should say. And on the bottom is another quote that says, it is our choices, Harry, that show that what we truly are far more than our abilities. Another great Albus Dumbledore quote. I love this. So this is a really nicely designed tumbler. The bottom's got a rubberized bottom and then you have the top. It's just good for like keeping drinks cold. So this one's actually really nice and I cannot wait to use this. Thank you so much. I just love the artsy effect. This is beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. And put that back in the box for just a sec. This label does say glow in the dark tumbler. So I guess if I put it in the dark, it actually says the secondary color is a blue glow. So that's pretty awesome. So here goes my very last box. And this did come from Amazon and it did say Christina, Harry Potter, Playdates and Travels. So that's how I knew that this was related to the swap. So let me go ahead and open this one up as well. Okay, so my final package is right here. I don't know what this is yet, but, oh, it's a Funko Pop. It's definitely a Funko Pop. I see a huge box. Let's get this out. And it's all nicely wrapped in bubble wrapped. I'm gonna try to take the bubble wrap off without actually looking at it just yet. <gasps> I wanted this last year. I actually ordered this from um, Hot Topic last year, end of last year, December. And I got a notification from Hot Topic that it had run out of order. This is very nice bubble wrap. It's kind of sticky. I'm gonna keep this, thank you. I will reuse those supplies. But I wanted this last year and then it was sold out and I was so upset and they never restocked it. And now I have it. Thanks to Melody. Thank you so much. This thing is huge. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the Ukrainian Iron Belly with Harry, Ron, and Hermione. This is when they escape from the Green Gods Bank and I absolutely love the design on this. Look at that. Look how awesome that is. You guys can't really see it that well in the box. I'm gonna have to take it out, but <sighs> I finally have this. You can see it says Pop Rides. That's a picture of what it's supposed to look like with all the characters that you could potentially get. I do have him. He's in my display already. I don't have the other ones, but that's okay. Um, but, oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, I'm so excited. I finally have this. It's also gigantic and I'm thinking I need to reorganize my entire shelf to make room for this, but I'm gonna figure it out. This is like when I got that, um, that large Minnie Mouse Costco figure and I was like, what do I do with this? <laughs> if you guys saw that, that um, haul, my haul of Christmas items recently, I was just like, I, I don't know what to do with this. But, oh my gosh, okay. This is so cute. It seems so fragile. Wow, this is like the most amazing Funko Pop I think I have ever owned. And I love the detail on this iron belly. He's got the shackle on his leg, just like in the books and in the movie. This is just stunning, stunning. Then you got Harry with his glasses. There is Hermione and Ron holding on for dear life. This is just amazing. Such a cool design and actually a really great way to end the swap. What a fun last item to pick out of the box. Oh my gosh. So this is amazing. All the items are amazing. I really do like the ears that you made for me, both pairs and the tumbler was amazing. That was a great find from you as well. And then, the backpack, obviously, <laughs> and the purse and just everything. Yeah, so really excited that we did the swap. Thank you again, Melody. It was just a lot of fun. I knew partnering with you that we would both get quality gifts from each other. And it's just nice when you have a friendship where you guys kind of both respect each other that you know you want to gift the other person with something that will bring them joy. And that was definitely the purpose of this swap was to just bring each other some Christmas joy. And I didn't have that many Christmas Harry Potter items or Harry Potter items in general that I kind of wanted to expand that collection. So I can't think of anyone better to have done it with. Thanks again, Melody. I really appreciate you. And to everyone who's watching this, what was your favorite item? I mean, there's just so many great things that I just pulled out of these boxes. I It's hard to, to pick, but I don't know. I think it's kind of this one, but the backpack was actually pretty awesome too. And then the quill set. Oh my gosh, the quill set. Yes. Okay. So I got spoiled. I definitely got spoiled, but <laughs> let me know in the comments what your thoughts were about this flop and how your Christmas plans were going. Are you guys already, have you gotten all your presents? I'm still working on that personally. Um, I know that we are halfway, uh, the halfway mark now. There's only been maybe, by the time this video goes out, there will be less than 10 days remaining. So, oh my goodness. But at any rate, 
I hope you guys are having a wonderful Christmas season and taking it easy as best you can. I know it's pretty hectic around this time of year every year, but I'm very happy to be able to do this video. Um, shortly after these videos, I'm gonna be going on my first ever Disney cruise, so I'm super excited for that as well. I might not be as um, active on this channel for a little bit, but thank you guys for your support. I just recently hit the next um, mark of 100 subscribers and I'm trying to get to 3,000, so I appreciate all the support from you guys. And again, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. <laughs> okay, that's it for me today. Hope you have a wonderful Christmas, a wonderful new year, and I will talk to you guys soon in the next video. Bye!